Hello and welcome to Through the Mixing Glass. My name is Joel, and while the rest of the world is freaking out about the coronavirus, I'm minding my own business without a care in the world. Why, you ask? It's simple, really. Alcohol. As a wise man once said, alcohol is... The cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Global pandemic got you down? How about a cocktail? Political insanity making you want to move to Greenland. Take two shots and call me in the morning. Is the climate crisis bumming you out? Well, let's use this extra warm spring as an excuse to start focusing on warm weather drinks. Our drink today is the Caribbean Club, which was created by Natalie Migliarini from the cocktail and travel blog, Beautiful Booze. First into our shaker is half an ounce of simple syrup. And you don't need to buy this stuff at the store. It's nothing more than an equal parts mixture of sugar and water. Next is half an ounce of lemon curd, which I had previously only known as being delicious on toast. So we're about to find out how it works in a drink. This stuff is pretty thick, as you can see. Uh, we're having a little bit of trouble getting it into our jigger. Uh, I guess we'll call that good. And to really bring out the bright citrusy flavors, next is half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Use what you have at home, but I really do recommend going with fresh over bottled. And for our spirit, we're going with two ounces of white rum. I'm using Havana Club three year. I've also tried this drink with an overproof white rum, but that actually overpowered the rest of the ingredients. So I recommend you sticking with the low octane stuff. Our final ingredient, an egg white, which is going to add a nice rich foam to our drink. We're cracking an egg. Um, Okay, not on our rubber spill mat. Let's try that again. Okay, now we're in. Now let's pass the yolk back and forth between the two halves of the eggshell to separate the white. There, that wasn't so bad. And to make sure we get as much foam as possible, we're going to use a technique called dry shaking. We're shaking all our ingredients without ice to aerate and fluff up that egg white. With our dry shake done, I'm adding one big ice cube to my tin and using a big heavy soup spoon to crack apart another one. This is gonna further help develop our foam. Glassware for this is a Nick and Nora glass or some other type of stemmed cocktail glass. And I'm double straining this one to prevent any little ice chips from getting into our drink. We're garnishing with three raspberries on a cocktail pick. Wow, I, I'm sorry, but how amazing does that look? Honestly, it looks so good, I don't even wanna drink it. Just kidding, I'm obviously gonna drink it. How else am I gonna fight off coronavirus? All right, let's give it a try. Mmm, oh wow, oh, that is so good. No surprise here, right off the top, it's bright, fresh, and lemony. The lemon curd gives it a tangy sweetness that's balanced by the more sharp sourness from the lemon juice. The rum adds a nice vanilla note and a strong backbone that brings it all together. But the real star of the show here is the mouthfeel, which is rich and velvety from the egg white and the lemon curd. This is like a slice of lemon meringue pie in a glass. Look, I know things are dicey out there, but with one of these in hand, that gets a whole lot easier to temporarily forget about. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, I hope you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. And why don't you let me know in the comments what you'll be drinking this spring? Stay healthy, everyone. Cheers.